Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, New Hampshire. Thank you, Concord. Thank you, everybody that's here. It's been a long, hard, arduous battle for the last number of years. This is my eighth visit to the State House on 420. Uh, there are a number of people that aren't here that have passed on that I want to uh, take a minute to and keep close. Uh, Linda Horan and Jake Bonnie were very staunch advocates of the uh, medical program that we developed here in the state. And if we could just take a little moment of silence right now, just a little one for those people who have come before us and put the path down for us to, 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 to lead with. So just take a minute of silence. All right, right on. Here we are. It's a new year, 2017 420 rally in New Hampshire. I'm stoked. Uh, Rick Naya, I'm the executive director of New Hampshire Normal and also the executive director of New Hampshire Cannabis Freedom Festival. I want to thank the House reps that are the here, the senators, our governor as well. Uh, we're looking forward to a decriminalization bill that should be passing here in the next few days and weeks. I want to thank all the people who stand up and vote and help us bring common sense policy to New Hampshire. I remember when we started this with Rich, uh, we would be down here with a bullhorn, and I'm, I gotta be honest with you, I'm missing my hand. We, we stand up here in the cold and the rain and we hit that bullhorn, and there was only 10 or 20 of us out here, and we gave it our best. You know, we, we, we tried to bring a common sense message to people like these reps and others in the committees here and educate them with data and information that science and facts, not lies. And as Carla said, there's nothing greater than liberty. And when you're lied to and you're educated, that doesn't feel very liberty. And then you don't feel it, you know, the vibes are off. So anyway, I'm really proud to help represent a lot of us here in the state with our festival. Um, we've been doing a lot of concerts and educational things throughout the last number of months. Our festival this year is gonna be bigger than ever. We hope that all of you come. And in the next few weeks, months, and years, you'll find that the work that we're putting down now and have these last 10 years, we're this close to legalizing cannabis in the state of New Hampshire. I'm happy about that. It's been long and hard. I've lost my hair and gone gray. I've lost probably 60 pounds. And thousands upon thousands of hours that I've shared with Erica Goldler, with Joe Lachance, with Heather, so many, I, I can't even begin to tell you all the names of the people, but I take this personally. Eric O'Clair out here in the back, one of our one of our greatest supporters. He's always on our case supporting us. And if it wasn't for all of you people out here today, there wouldn't be festivals, there wouldn't be any of this unity that we're bringing together. And I think when we all think about what liberty represents, it's the unity that we have together, that we can share together, and our voices are heard. Whether you don't think so today now, just know that when we go inside, that we battle for you. And we battle for all of us and those of us that came before and that will come after and our children. Most importantly, our children to leave a legacy that those of us that believe in the truth can overcome those that are uneducated. That we can educate them and vote people in with conscious knowing that we're doing the right things for the future of the state of New Hampshire. And I personally am very proud to help represent all of you. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to this year. God bless us all.